Yo. What up? What up? I feel like I'm sitting down so low. Evening, Leo. Hello, Lee. Dude, this desk mat is awesome. I have the blue one also. I just, uh, am, wow, this shadow is bad. Is that coming from? Hold on, I'm still semi getting stuff set up over here. I, this is a great desk mat. The shadows are a bit much right now, um, but not bad. What up, what up? I have the blue one also, but I feel like I need to like flatten it out better because it's all messed up. Games with Austin, what's up? Come on, focus, okay. Hey, Shirley. Sorry, just making sure I've got everything set up here. All right, all right. How's everyone doing? We are going to, I guess I'll start saying it and I'll probably say it like 10 more times. I really feel like I screwed this lighting up though. These shadows are a lot. Hold on. Hello, hello, carry the one, let's go, let's go. I don't wanna possibly spoil too much, but yes, let's go. Hopefully this can just give us. Zenfone's still going? I'm still missing, uh... also how's volume and everything? I have like a little bit of background music going on. I don't know how my voice is. I really should test these things a little more. Um, man, I need a haircut. I think I might ditch the hat though. Ugh. All right, happy Lunar New Year to anyone who is celebrating. Volume sounds good. Cool, cool, cool. All right. I'm pretty pumped tonight. Mode. Mode is great at marketing. I've had my eye on two mode keyboard. Uh, screw it. I've had my eye on all of the mode keyboards for a little while. And I finally pulled the trigger on one. I went with the Envoy because I like 65%. But trust me, the, whoa, 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 whoa. Streamer got the volume right from the start. Don't worry, I'll screw it up later. Um, but, oh, I think this being so dark is messing with the auto white balance, or the auto folk, or exposure on this. But uh, Matthew, thank you so much. Appreciate that. Hopefully you can check out the, the VOD afterwards. But appreciate the kind words. Um, but yeah, so I wanted the mode envoy because the 65% style is my favorite, as you can see from here and probably 90% of the boards that I've posted. Um, but we've got some cool things. So we've got this. This is my first time trying TX stabilizers. I think that's what I got. Yeah, TX. Um, I have these switches, which I like tried one out a while ago. Mode doesn't sell many of these anymore, but I tried one out a while ago and loved it. So I lubed all of these today. So I don't have to do that on stream. I do have to lube the stabilizers on stream. Uh, this is the old G uh, Logitech G Pro. Um, 
trust me you need a p oh the polycarbonate envoy i actually just watched alex's video today on it um it looks pretty sick but i'm super excited for this it's the mirage colorway which i'll be honest i opened and i looked at it it is a great great color i was hoping it would be a little more blue so i really had my eye on the the sonnet 75 percent in uh that like navy because I have the hold on one sec I'm gonna grab the keycaps that we might do this with before we open well actually let's open this first and then I'll talk about it all right so what do we have in here we have the plate I got the fr4 plate I think I have one I think the uh Junes that I have are fr4 Is it, it's a switch puller and, and keycap puller, but what is the other? Oh, and a screwdriver. Cool, cool. PCB. I'm going to assume... So this isn't, like, that big of a surprise because I've watched, like, every one of Alex's videos. This is Envoy Feet, but I think this also looks like one of the gasket options. Just mess around with the configure on the website. Lee, I cannot tell you how many times I have done that. Um, the daughter board. Oh, and fasteners and the screwdrivers. Oh, nice. It comes with all the screwdriver bits too. That's really awesome. Oh, okay, yeah. This is the feet and the couple different gasket mounts. It just says feet on it, but that's a couple different ones. Um, yeah, so I think like... I've seen mode all over the place. I've watched a million videos of people building modes. The Sonnet in Navy, I feel like I, I bought the GMK parcel keycap set and I think it would look awesome on that. And I was just looking and looking and I was like, I think for my first one, I wanna get a 65 though. They didn't have Navy, they had this Mirage color, which I was a little, I wasn't sure exactly what color it was gonna be. Um, Cause just like lighting online is kind of, like weird sometimes and obviously things look different so i was kind of hoping postal would work with it i think this is like a tad more green um but i do really like the color i looked at it but we'll look at it here and then you guys can help me figure out which keycap set i want to use in a minute um the garmin's holding up great still great yeah the sauna is really cool i think my like the next one I would buy, or like one I would really like, I just know I don't use 75% quite as much, is the Sonnet in navy with the walnut accent. And then I could use my GMK parcel, which is like white and navy blue and like red accents and looks really good. HMX switches on CF in Sonnet, no foam, chef's kiss. Um, I did buy the, f I got the foam kit for here. I think I'm going to build it without it first and just see, and then I can always go back. Um, but I'm super excited for this. It's just so cool. All the different, yeah, like configurations you can do. I've made my, uh, desk a huge mess right now. Um, almost got the mode control keyboard the other day, but had some self control and got the one we SK 71. Awesome. Cool, I hope you enjoy that. The self-control is very hard. <laughs> I mean, I self-controlled myself for weeks until I didn't, and now here we are, but I'm super excited about it. Um, this is the the Logitech Sona, is that what they call it? Sona? I think Logitech Sona? If someone wants to look that up, I think that's what it's called. Um, the envoy might need bottom of phone MO PC does not. Cool. We'll, we'll see. Um, I think I'm going to build it without the first time. So I'm going to use, yeah, the mode signal switches. Um... They're tactiles. I know like right now they're definitely the older versions of mode switches. Um, but 
somebody had sent us a pack of their reflex linears and I liked them. And he sent a couple of these just to like get a feel for them. And I, every time I see them, I like play with it. I was like, I think that would feel really nice. So I just bought, bought a pack of them, lubed all these today. We'll use that. Um, and we'll try them out, but cool. Okay. Before I get into the fun part though, I do, I lubed all the switches. I did not lube my stabilizers though. So we're going to lube those right now. This is my first time using TX stabilizers. Um, I've read a lot online about how much people like them. So I'm pretty excited about it. I like this little screwdriver. That's nice. Am I a tactile or a linear person? So I thought I was a tactile person and then I feel like I've tried nicer linears and now I do really like them, but um, it's, it's because this is gonna replace my key cult right here at home, which is mostly what I do for playing games. And I still like a bit, I like a tactile switch for playing games just cause I know I'm hitting the key. Although I know right now they're like, that's not what people like, or they they like like these hall effects, really low travel light switches so you can press everything faster, but I don't know. I just have learned that I'm never gonna learn how to counter strafe in Valorant. So I'll just play without that. I have not tried any Gion boards. Which Rev TX were those AP I'm guessing? I'm gonna have you help me answer that question. Cause I don't, understand the question if i'm being honest if if you if people aren't aware i am very new to this um i feel like no matter how much information you try and gain the knowledge you try and gain there's always a lot more to learn so i'm every time i've done one of these streams i've learned a ton from people in the chat so um hopefully rather than making fun of me you help me um put some aptx in my and i had to reload them Made them sluggish. Interesting. Because I just pulled out the dielectric grease. And that's what I thought I was going to do this with. Fourth revision now. The fact that I ordered them like a month or two ago makes me assume they're the newest one. AP is rough for it. Looks like you have three. I would say it would say AP on the box. I do not see AP. Do you know what's really embarrassing, actually? I bought these. They came in the box. I just assumed they were the right ones. And then when I went to grab them for the stream, I looked at this box and I was like, it doesn't say TX anywhere. Um, did I get scammed? Do I know what I'm talking about? Not realizing that that says TX. So yeah. Just don't overdo it with the grease. I think what I've found out is I generally underdo it with the grease. Um, what I'm realizing is all of you all know way too much and I should start lubing everything beforehand because I'm just gonna feel uh, embarrassed or uh, very nervous to do it in front of people who really know what they're talking about. Rev4 is just a bit better. I will look for that. Do I search for just Rev4 or do I search, would I search for like TX AP? Is it a premiere or he's really live? Does it say premiere? I know less than you, Andrew, don't worry. I'm sure there's plenty of people who know less than me, but there's also plenty of people who know far, far more than I do. I also bought, cause I want to try them. Most vendors list them as AP. Thank you, thank you. And, and everyone who's letting me know, thank you very much. Um, I also bought, I'm not sure if, how to pronounce that, Stabies. I've heard good things also. As someone who just like got into this and just bought a big set of just the like uh, Duroc stabs, 
I haven't really gotten to try anything else, so now I just want to try some other things. I barely know how to use the keycap puller. That's tough sometimes. Like the housing, but the wires would bump me. All right, I'll keep an eye out there. I think I'm gonna, uh, okay, space wars have issues. Cool. Uh, then yeah, I'm definitely gonna try those soon, but I'm gonna try those off stream for the first time to make sure I like properly take the time to do everything. Okay, cool, cool. You guys are making me want to try and do this with just 205 grade zero. But I think I've, I've only really done them with uh, the dielectric grease. Doesn't the watch come in the way of typing at all? Um, I honest, I know what you're talking about. And for the longest time, I actually wouldn't wear my watch or my ring when I was on the computer and typing. Um, I just got used to it finally after a while. Um, and now it doesn't bother me at all. This is also like a Velcro band that's really like light and doesn't really like have any hard parts on it that so when my wrist is on here oh man have you tried f1 8x yet i don't know what that is do you have an xht bdz it's messy for more consistent i do not no i don't i'll have to look that up i'm i feel like i need a notebook to keep keep an eye on everything here BDZ would be a good option. So are you guys saying, all right, so let's say the two options are 205 grade zero or uh, the dielectric grease. Do you think going 205 is the right way? And if so, Weighs seven pounds. Uh, that sounds awesome. Uh, I think I'm just, okay. So I think I'm just gonna go dielectric grease. Okay, yeah, yeah, for house and grease for wire. Perfect. That sounds exactly what I want to do. I guess I probably should have mentioned that before. That yeah, I, I still use that for inside the houses. But oh, Matt, is that sorry? Also, I'll be talking. If anyone's typing, that's Matt. Um, but he, I, I remember him telling me the other day about that, that he bought. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Sorry if I focus up a little here here for the hot takes Andrew has. I think I appreciate you calling them hot takes. I think most of the time I'm just trying to be funny on the podcast if that's what you're talking about. Actually, there's a Reddit thread on the MKBHD subreddit right now saying I'm a hater and that I didn't give the Vision Pro a chance. Um, which I'm a little confused about because I think I've been the most positive about AR VR stuff out of pretty much anyone on the channel, but uh, I just like to talk, talk a little smack on some of the things. Um, 
I, so I forget if it made it into a pod the other day, but we were talking about hot takes, and I said, I think anyone who says hot take out loud has a cold is probably going to have a cold take after it. I, anyone watching, I am also guaranteed to screw at least two things up because I'm focusing on the chat and focusing on trying not to embarrass myself. So we'll see how this goes. Oh my goodness. My warm take is U4Ts are the most overrated switch. Considering the fact that I've had so many people ask me about those, I can easily see how they could be overrated just because I hear about them all the time. Currently looping and filming some Oil Kings. Happy to catch your stream because I was looking for something to watch and chill. Hope you enjoy the new keep. Thank you very much. And I hope you're enjoying <laughs> lubing that i know it's always a pain i actually with the kiddo i don't have a lot of time to do this to lube at home so i i went into work an hour and a half early this morning um i woke up when she did tried to help her this morning tried to help my wife this morning and then uh just decided rather go back to sleep for another hour i just go into work lube that because I wanted to build this so bad tonight. But I'm glad I can be the, the thing you watch while you're doing that. And I hope I can distract you enough from having to think about <laughs> to think about actually uh, the lubing switches and the uh, however long that takes. Kid is doing great. Is a key cult your daily? Um, it's my like keyboard I use at home, but at home I mostly just do stuff for this and uh, play games. So like I would argue the stuff I type on is at work more often, and there I just kind of like switch between all the. I, that's where I keep most of the um, keyboards that I build because a lot of them are sent to work. And I, I feel weird keeping them here, if that's the case. Review the Mel, G, Mel Geek Mojo 84 Plastic. It's way of feeling. That's the one that has, like, the, uh, like, kind of off-brand, off-white stuff, right? It says, like, this is plastic. I think we have one at work. I also feel like I'm not the person who should be reviewing any keyboard things because... I'm so new to this. There's so many people out there who know so much more. I'm just enjoying the building process and have some good equipment to be able to have some like fairly accurate sound tests and stuff like that. And I like making that. Uh, yes, that was a bad take, Andrew. I don't know what my bad take was anymore. I have a lot of bad takes, but. I'm glad you pay for pre-loop switches. Well, I have. These ones are not. I mean, I guess most switches are pre lubes now. I think some are far better than others. Um, these, the ones I'm using tonight, 
I did hand lube them all. I just did them off stream because um, no one wants to sit and watch me do that for three hours it, or, or more. I don't even remember how long it took me because it, I did it during multiple times during the day today. Remember becoming a dad two years ago still feels like I'm always trying to catch up on sleep. Huh. You know what? I'm sure despite that, you still feel like it's super worth it. Because as much as she is a pain in the neck sometimes, she's like at the point where she's smiling at me all the time. And that's just the best feeling in the world. Man, these things are tight. I'm like so worried I'm bending these wires because it's so hard to snap back in. Congrats on the trivia win. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Node Monoke. Is it Monoke or Monoke? Because I swore I heard. I was watching somebody today or the other day and I swear it. Uh, they said Monoke. Hey, Monokai, but they were also British, I think, so it might have been an accent thing. My other take was part of the new HMX, which is all factory lubing was too much, but I didn't want to discourage anybody. You'd know better than I would. Um, I feel like, depending on what I, I open up, it, I feel like most of the ones I've opened, although I haven't done too many, it seems like there's like like one little shiny part on the side it just doesn't feel like enough lube Definitely should have done this before the stream. Backwards. How do I keep messing this up? Okay. Actually, the switching are getting better, but if you're an enthusiast, you're gonna want to open up this. <sighs> okay. Yes. I'm going to want to use switches that I lube myself. I don't know if I would say I'm going to want to, <laughs> to open them up every time though. It's so tedious. I had my daughter 18 months ago. First year is kind of easy compared to when they get some agency in life. I'm sure like all all portions are easier or harder in different ways. I mean, like I'm very excited to be able to hear her talk a little bit, but I'm just enjoying the time I have right now um, with her being so little. I'm very sad. She used to every morning like fall asleep on me and that was the absolute best and now she will not do that anymore. I, I would say in terms of her favorite things in life, mom is number one. Also, I hope everyone's okay with me just talking about my kid a bunch, even though this is a keyboard stream, but it's 
the majority of my life right now but uh mom is number one ceiling fan is number two she loves that thing um the play mat with the purple monkey and the bubblegum tree is number three i think dad is around number four but bottle is a close five Hey Andrew, hey Gabinator, what's up? Everything is subjective. Prefer light lubing, yeah. I yeah, I guess I tr I try and go lighter. I definitely in the first batch of things I was doing was going really light, and then I was like, well, I need to kind of see where where I want to screw this up, and royally overdid a set once and can tell and now i'm usually a, a tad more on the scared side of keyboard streams go off topic off often as long as everyone's enjoying it that's cool i know way more about um my daughter than i know keyboards probably just want to say i love the podcast i really appreciate that the podcast is like one of the proudest things one of the things in my work life I am the most proud of. Just keep doing your best. Thank you. Thank you. Killing it on Trivia Drive against a... I... Loki... I hope this isn't spoiling it for anyone. I hope you watched the Trivia Drive against already, but it seems like it's been mentioned a bunch of times in here already but i low-key scam people out of that trivia win the more i look at it the more i realize i like made marquez lose three points um i like snuck an answer in when david kind of got i was about to guess and david like said the answer even though it was my buzzer i got an extra point for like reminding ellis of something i and then i wound up winning the whole thing by like beating david by one and beating marquez by like two so I re really scammed everyone out of that and didn't think I was going to win. I was just messing around the whole time. Man, y'all y'all are nice. So nice. I've watched it muted. I don't I don't know if we just spoiled it for you. Okay. I won't talk about trivia anymore. No matter what I said, watch the episode anyways. It's very good. It's very funny. Actually, this week's episode, there's a rant because like the sen senior vice president of uh samsung just like decided to come out and say photos aren't real and then quoted marquez on it and we were like bro bro keep us out of this and then i basically just spent the entire podcast triggering david on what a photo is and like every time him and marquez got close to agreeing on something i would just try and like throw a wrench in it and it turned into like a 20 25 minute conversation of what is a photo and it was pretty good when i listen to that it seems like david and marquez shot themselves in the foot are you, are you talking about trivia or are you talking about the what is a picture thing i i think i have like a pretty solid delay so i might be a little off on things I'm saying. We're almost done. We're almost done here. Keyboards aren't real. I, I thought the conversation was actually pretty interesting. It's just very funny, like that. It felt like the Samsung guy took our meme of like when we say "What is a foot? What is a picture?" Every time like new AI gets involved in uh, new smartphone cameras, just felt like he kind of got caught in the fake moon controversy and was like, I'm just gonna go the waveform argument for this, you know?
Ubisoft saying their new game is quadruple A, which is why they upped the price. That's fantastic. <laughs> I feel like we live in a world where we just make up words now. We've just learned that there's no consequences for pretty much just lying. So why not? Man. <laughs> okay. Thank you for understanding the purple monkey reference I was talking about. It seems like one of those things that I'd never heard of. And then the minute that song played, I was like, this is a banger. And then now it's all I see all the time. And I feel like everybody's like, oh, yeah, I'm going through that phase right now also. Um, also, pro tip, if you go on YouTube, there is a... Purple Monkey in a Bubblegum Tree Trap Remix that only has like 500 views. And it slaps. Is that like 2024 Baby Shark? Not quite, because it's not like solely uh, like a YouTube video song. It's this like little play mat that has like a piano at the bottom that they kids kick into. And one of the songs just goes like too hard. Like whoever wrote it just wrote it too well and it doesn't feel like it should be on a kid's toy when all the other things in the the toy like are just like very kid i don't know it's awesome look it up it's pretty cute um have i bought vision pro for myself i have not i own pretty much zero apple products so it wouldn't make much sense for me um shooting on film is real you should listen to our uh our episode because we we talk about that a lot. Um, favorite keyboard? It's probably that key cult right there, but I did not build it. So right now I would probably say my favorite keyboard is the first Bauer Light that I built just because it was the first one that I built. Um, but I'm very excited for this and I have a Really good feeling about this. My daughter has that toy mat. I was good. I like I I was honestly waiting for you to say that. Actually, do I even need this? Because it comes with the screwdriver. Okay. Let's get into this. Well, there's not supposed to be a OnePlus 12 of any kind. I enjoy this short video that Marcus did. I did wind up pre-ordering the OnePlus 12. That's awesome. I There's there was nothing wrong with the OnePlus 12. In fact, like in a lot of sense, almost every phone nowadays is a minor update. And I like understand how saying that probably like made some people upset and that we did cover like an S24 Ultra that was also kind of a minor update despite doing a lot of the AI stuff and like we're showing off some new chips but like it was a rough time to come out for OnePlus is so much earlier than it usually is at least from what I remember and um I'm glad like I'm glad we had the time to do it uh the funny thing is is before all the stuff on Twitter happened like Marquez had already told all of us that that's what we were shooting this week so like we decided to do that before any of that backlash happens but whatever Everyone in chat should list their favorite band. Mine is... I This... Smallest? Mine is still the smallest by far. Is that your favorite song? I would start... I would listen to these songs if I wasn't a... I don't know how YouTube's, like, copyright stuff is in live streams. Hi, Andrew. What's up? Um, I can say... Two favorite bands right now, Mr. Wives and Lawrence for me. I'll type the mesh. This 
Does anyone have an issue with the panda not being on the piano? Why the <laughs> I love that half this chat is about <laughs> the kids toy. <laughs> Matt chiming in too that. Oh, and I'm the one who typed Mr. Rogers Lawrence, not the other one. Okay. Let's get these in here. Wrong. I definitely have not mastered the, like, doing this in front of the camera. Yeah, the trap remix for it is awesome. If anyone doesn't know what we're talking about, just look up on YouTube right now. Purple Monkey in a Bubblegum Tree Trap Remix. And tell me it doesn't slap. Also, what am I? Greetings from Buenos Aires. Would you consider that as 24 plus too big? Um, a year ago, no. I honestly feel like... Um, I did not order the Monokey Systems keyboard. But I... I will at some point order it or get it or something. I'm just also totally messing this up right now because I'm not paying attention. Hold on one second. Oh my goodness, those are just really hard to get in. Hype high, what up? Holy cow, okay. And now I think if I'm doing this right, I just snap one of these in there. I think at some point I would like to get into custom keyboards. Keyboard and work. For first keyboard build, I mean, I think it has so much to do with uh, what your budget's going to be. And that's just so subjective. Like, I don't think there's anything wrong. Like, if you have a keyboard that you like, what I would say is then get something where you buy it and build it. Because, like, you can buy it. You can take your time. You have something you like already. Uh, no, these are TX... But I am going to use mode switches later. Maybe I'll just leave this here so people can see. No one can see that. No one can see that. Okay, I won't leave it here. I'll just leave it over here again. If I took a screenshot of your webcam on stream, would it be considered a photo? I'll let you decide that one. I think we might be a few levels deep on that. 
So if it's incriminating, I'll just say it's not a photo. These are... No, I... I dropped a piece. Man, these are really hard to put in. How do TX tabs compare to Xerox screw ins? I guess we will learn because this is my first time using them actually. Um, so far I can say, I don't know if you need nails, but actually snapping those in is a little harder than I thought it was gonna be. But also, my one nail is just all messed up right now. Bower Light is awesome. Envoy is obviously a lot different just because of the build material. Um, so that's just a big thing to think of there. I know some people like aluminum way better. I'm totally down with polycarbonate. I think they sound a lot different. I definitely do like some weight. Like I'm gonna miss that key crown weight once I use this Envoy instead. Um, Cause I do think this is a, a tad lighter than, actually quite a bit lighter than the key Colt. One thing I will say, and it's not that big of a deal, but if you're looking to build your first board, the one thing I really liked about the Bauer Light is just the uh, the little instruction manual they put in there. Like you could have no idea what you're doing, and that it's literally like pictures, step by step. The real thing is, is once you build your first one, good luck, because you will build another one. Okay. I I bought the foam kit. I think I'm gonna go no foam at all at first, but I just want to see what's what's in here. Oh, cool. All right. So I did zero research on this. But there's a couple different options. Cool. I think I'm probably gonna put this in eventually, but just for tonight, we're just gonna do no foam and I'm exhausted. So I probably don't have enough time to stay on stream for uh, building the whole thing with no foam and then putting foam on, taking it apart and putting foam on again, but yeah. Smell it? <laughs> no, I'm good. Uh, if anyone missed, this is an FR4 plate. Love the live stream. Thank you. Thank you. The 
Those are the feet. Oh, I dumped the wrong one out. I need the screws. Um, we're going to be using mode signal tactile switches. Uh, that I lubed earlier today. this okay Gotta be these ones. Oh my, yo, Karen, Car Karen. I'm sorry, I'm pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> you, you, you. <laughs> I can't tell you how long that would have made me. I would have been trying that. I. Don't know if I fully understand why put tape there. I'm sure just to like protect the threads or something. But you just saved me a lot of time and a lot of frustration. I was positive those were the screws that were supposed to go in and was just not understanding why they weren't going anywhere. That was really fun. That was so funny. Thank you for understanding that I was struggling there. It's not easy to get off either. Man, not having fingernails makes that very difficult. Oh, you are a lifesaver. I'm naming this board after you. Tell me what you want to name it and I'll name it that. How did I not even, I didn't even fucking put that together. I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that was you. How's it going? I was too busy being frustrated now putting the, getting the screw in there with the tape on. Sweet. Everyone say bye to Matt if they're, I don't know if he's still watching. I think he just told me he's hopping off, but if he's still here, say bye. Just, you're stuck with me now. 
I need my plate fork. <laughs> uh, Ferris uh, saying, uh, exclamation point build. I'm assuming you think I'm competent enough to put a bot in here to tell you I'm not. Um, it's a mode envoy though. I'm good build of grace so far. Hope you're enjoying the experience. I am. I'm everyone's super helpful. We're trying some TX stabs for the first time. Um, I wish I lubed them off stream so I could have gotten into this a bit quicker, but we're here. We're getting to the fun part. I'm very torn on what keycaps I want to use with this on uh, Mirage color. So we'll get into that soon. Word what switches? Um, mode signal. Tactile. Um, I lubed them earlier. I'm pretty pumped about them. I, think this is... uh, I might be wrong on these. The people demand stab content. The people demand good stab content. All right. I'll ask to make sure I got this right. If it's a seven U space bar, which I'm pretty sure this is, and I have the option for the, like, there's the two hot swap options. One's, there's like an upside down and what seems like a, like, north facing option. I do the upside down ones on the left, right? Or what I just said was total nonsense, so. Um, reason you choose YouTube over Switch. Twitch, mostly just because uh, I know YouTube better. Um, I and like starting this channel that is on YouTube. It's continuing the views on YouTube. I'm I'm just trying to keep everything in one spot. I have nothing. Ag well, I have nothing against the Twitch community of anything. I think. Twitch is maybe not the best run, but I guess YouTube's not the best run. I just personally from work know YouTube so much better, so I'm more comfortable chilling here. Um, I think I've, I feel like I have a lot of thoughts on live streaming in general, and I think my, my end theory is that YouTube isn't pushing hard on live streaming because they kind of are going to watch just like Twitch and like kick screw themselves over and youtube will just be there to pick up the pieces eventually why waste the energy but i wish they would put more energy into it because i like youtube as a platform better check the keycap because different pieces okay so it sounds like i'm basically just going to get to the point where i realize i'm wrong and then um we'll see there as long as no one sees me immediately saying wow why are you doing that you moron then I take it as a win. Nice to hear your perspective on it. Yeah. This is, I mean, that's my perspective on it as someone who doesn't stream all the time. This, this is like pretty new. I used to stream PUBG on Twitch all the time, actually. But, uh, there wasn't really YouTube streaming much back then. Listen, YouTube W, but that is not to say that YouTube's like perfect in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, tw Twitch definitely has like such a a lot of good features like rating and stuff um, that it's just fun. It helps like build, push your community onto other communities, which helps build those. I, I totally agree with you on that. I think there's a lot of things Twitch does great. Um, I mean, the thing Twitch did great for so long and the reason I think so many people are there is because of Twitch Prime subs. 
and the fact that so many people can support and let people basically have full-time jobs because of that. But I think that's finally Amazon's realizing they're basically just subsidizing all of it and now changing all the like Twitch Prime, uh, like how much you get paid by it and everything. I think it finally caught up to them because that was basically just giving money away. Alex tried to pivot to YouTube for a little... I mean, he's doing the, like, uh, highlight VODs on YouTube. That's where I mostly watch. Um, so the setup right now is a... Um, this is just a Razer webcam. Um, I forget the name of it. And then this camera is a Nikon Z30 into a capture card. Um, it's just streaming at 1080 though, because I tried to stream it at 4K last time, even though I think I was only pushing to 1080 on YouTube and it overheated and I had to like legit open my windows when it was like 15 degrees outside and like parts of the stream were just my face because it was, it turned off. Um, but yeah, so that's why we're just at 1080. What's the thing you put between the PCB and the plate? It's just like a little, almost like 3D printed, I think they call it a plate fork. It's essentially so like when I put switches in, sometimes it'll bend the plate down a bit and it just doesn't like snap in with the correct spacing. So that just provides the spacing and I can like pull it out so that it works. Albert Chen. Sounds like a like silver Valorant player in my eyes. Hey, Andrew, hope you see this, but does the studio accept uh, fans popping in to say hi? No, we're really strict um, just because it's like our place of work. We're usually super busy. It's just something we have to say no to everybody with um, just as a blanket thing because if anybody shows up, then everyone will want to show up and we just have work to get done. So we're like, that is one thing we're extremely strict about. I mean, if we're ever at an event or CES or anything, we love saying hi to everybody, but um, at the office is like a very strict no. Uh, always seem to seem like a cash fire from the infrastructure, infrastructure cost level. Sorry. Totally agree. Do I collect any artisans? I don't collect any. Um, all right. I'm going to give a really, really quick teaser on something. That's all I'm going to say. What about if it's at towards the end of the workday? We just say no to anything at the office. Our workday doesn't really end. Um, it could be whenever. So uh, we just ask please not to come to the office. It's also there's security and everything at the office because it's not just us there. Um, so it, it wouldn't just be like uh, affecting us. It would be affecting the other people that work in the building as well. Yeah, that, that again, there's so many embargoed things at the office. It's it's tough. Okay, sorry, I'm going to focus here. I'm assuming my next step is to put the daughter board on. And then I have to see where... Albert, did you guys win tonight? Oh, wait. I probably need to put this on first.
What do you do with this protect cap from the studio? Sell them or keep them? Uh, it's a mix. It's like some of the stuff we, if people could use in the office, or if like people's families could use in the office, we let do that. We'll donate to school sometimes. We'll sell some things. Um, it all depends. We don't let it go to waste though. Do you care for, will you be watching the Super Bowl this weekend? I would like to watch the Super Bowl, but this is the first year I just straight up cut cable. So I realized I actually have no way to really watch it. So we'll see what that means. Albert, I don't believe you. I know you played tonight. Um, I got the gray base weight. This is not one to go. Maybe it's a little boring, but I don't know. I think that that looks kind of nice. Did y'all end up getting that key cult, by the way? Um, did y'all that one right there? I'm what's your preference on polycarb versus metal? I think they both both can be great. This is, the, I'm assuming this is the big ones. No, that's probably for. Okay, that's for that. Bigger viewers, I don't watch cricket. So, pro I mean, I probably won't be watching that. But that sounds kind of awesome. I like my problem with sports is I really, really get into them. So I feel like I can only really watch and follow one. That's. Is that right? I. Oh my god, I sh I, there was a really nice build guide this entire time and I haven't had it up. Just want to make sure I'm getting all these uh, <laughs> screws in the right spot. Okay, stabilizers, yes. Switches, yes. Boop, boop, boop. Just all the feet. Press five, Can you give a brief about the parts you're using? Just join the stream and thinking of building the same board. Okay, so Mode Envoy, um, I have the FR4 plate. These are the Mode Signal switches. I have TX stabilizers. Um, everyone's telling me they're the third, the third gen versions, Rev3. I don't know what that means, but that's what everyone's telling me. Um, so yeah, that's about, I think that's everything. And then the keycaps I haven't picked yet, but we'll get there. I do not collect Lego sets, but what's up? Um, 
I spent I I like weirdly got into disc golf and keyboards at the same time and those are two things that you can spend a lot of money on and my wife would kill me if I in the same vein got got into Legos too and spent that much money on that not saying I wouldn't want to Legos are awesome or Lego, I believe, right? There's no such thing as Legos. It's only Lego. I used to build them all the time. Um, but not anymore. Maybe in the future. Maybe Lane will want to build some in the future. And I'll build some with her. M2.5. This is a tight window to screw these in. What happened to the Surface Laptops on Waveform? Um, so pretty much as much as I enjoyed the Surface Laptop, I was mostly just using it for work, travel, and for uh, the pod. And because I was using a Mac Pro at work and then I upgraded to a, uh, I think, well, just an M1 uh, MacBook Pro as my desktop computer, just like plugged into a dock. And now it's just easier for me to pop that out and use it for the pod just to read off of. Um, so that's why I'm using the Mac now. It'll just be my, it's just easy to always have all the same stuff on there. Now when I travel or I can bring work home, because before I was just coming home and I just have my computer that I'm on right now. Remember the Vonch pronunciation? Vanch, Vonch. I don't know if I'm adding too much there at the end. I don't like mispronouncing people's names. And I'm sure I do it pretty often, and I want to make sure I get it correctly. Congratulations on carrying the one. Thank you, Kartik. What happened? To, oh, no, I answered that one already. Can you give some advice on how can a 14-year-old apply online to jobs? I tried in July as a researcher in NOAA. A lot of times I watch all your streams. I guess my main question would be just in the U.S., 14, I think, is too young in a lot of places to work. Um, that might be wrong if you're somewhere else, but I probably would not have much, be able to help much there. Cool. All right, we have the accent in. I just got the matching gray accent for the gray weight on the bottom. Daughter board time. I probably should have put this in. Yeah. Andrew, do you think the CSTM 65 is better than the CDU 65 V2? Um, I personally liked the CDU better because I liked the style of it a lot better. Um, I thought it sounded better. If you like that uh, custom 65 look with the like blacked out keycaps and like the RGB and everything, I like I would pick that over a game a lot of the gaming keyboards that are out there right now. But I personally would do the CDU, I think. If that's how you pronounce I also don't know if that's how you pronounce that. Spidey Chick just wanted to thanks and answer the question about the GMK keycaps. Of course, of course. I like, I read that in there and I was just like, I had this exact same issue. I just need to make sure that that's, that we're looking at that. Um, so I'm glad that all worked out. 
install search server. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Install mounting blocks. I think I'm going to go with these ones. I think they're called lattice mount. I probably should not have connected this yet. These are cool. I don't know how well you can see these. The lattice mounts are dope. Yeah, I can see. These are really sick. Going to any events in December? I'm not totally sure. Events in December are, are pretty rare, I think. Um, events in general for us are pretty rare, but December's a long way away, so I'm not totally sure. Hey, Andrew, what's up? N Noel, is that how I pronounce that? I think you were the one on Twitter who said you picked the Zen phone over the S24. Cool, cool. I don't know if, any, if there's anyone in here who has built something from Mode and also has used anything from iFixit, but this build guide feels very iFixit. What would be your suggestion for 65% keyboard ex Including Bauer because of wing keyless only. Thanks. Um, I mean, to be honest, the only ones I've really used are those key colts, which are like impossible to get. I haven't used this one yet, but I have very high hopes for this. Um, those, the Bauer lights or the Bauer. Um, and then I've used a 60% with the Hippie June, which I love. Um, but you're going to lose the arrow keys on it. But that does have a Windows, Windows key. What games do you play right now? Pretty much only Valorant. Um, and I don't know if Albert's still in here, but I'm way better than he is. Now this says, oh, wait, attach, oh. Well, hold you, please. Gently lower the player. Secure with the... Okay. Cool. All right. We're about to get to keycaps here in a second. And I need y'all to help me. Kate makes some great boards. Yeah, they were super nice. Uh, I think Andy over there sent me to... They were so nice. They Not only that, but they like posted the stream in their discord and everyone came over and was so nice um it was really cool i mean everyone in this community so far seems awesome and it's it's really really cool like you'd think somebody who just gets into it because they work for some youtubers everyone would be like in a lot of other play hobbies you'd come in and be upset that somebody uh is just kind of hopping in so fast but everyone's been so chill it's so nice Okay, I'm going to ask a stupid question. I've seen a lot of people say BGM, and I don't know what that is. Who wants to explain it to me? I really like the Kohaku by Singa. Um, I do too. I, I have Mono Key, Mono K sent me a Kohaku uh, Enter Key a while ago. That is absolutely beautiful. And I hope to one day have a board to one of their boards to put it on. Um, Valorant main, it was Jet for a while. Then she got nerfed. I still play her, but I'll play like her, Yoru, Raze, um, or then like like Breach or Sage, um, or like Killjoy. Oh, I used to love Chamber also, but they've destroyed him. Go-to mouse right now is the Logitech G Pro, but I also 
really like the Pulsar X2. Uh, this is the random Frank P1. That's super nice. Okay. We got, I'm going to flip this over so you can see the color. Envoy and Mirage. So I have a color, couple color options here. And I need you to help me pick it one. So in my eyes, I have, I have three options. We have the safe bet. We have the, the good probably matches. And then we have the kind of out there. Um, um, I'm less active on threads, Kartik. And I was trying not to comment on anything about trivia because I didn't want to spoil it for anyone who watched so that's why I'm not responding to any trivia tweets. Depends on the source. Is BRG one of them? Because that, if so, I don't believe so. so the Moto Light, I think, is the safe bet. I think it'll look great on this. Um, this is, like, guaranteed to look good is the way I see it. Just for anyone wondering, I'll pull all of these out so we can get an idea. Just a nice white, gray, the green accents or... I oh, am I missing that one green accent? I have the pink accents. So like I know I know this will look good. But I think I like the other two sets better. The problem is is they're both some shade of blue and I feel like when you go with like kind of blue on kind of blue depending on how off they are it could look good it might not look good. So this is GMK Honor Dark. I think this is the one I'm leaning towards, but see how like the blue, it's, it's just not quite there. And I wonder if this is like too close, but not close enough that it's going to start maybe, oh, I just did that upside down, but it might just not quite be that the one. And I need I use an MX mechanical mini keyboard and I like to change the keycaps. I'm new to keyboards and so overwhelmed with what's going on and what will or won't work. I don't know exactly which board you're talking about. I think, and someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but I'll, I'll... getting a set of keycaps, you should cherry profile is gonna be like kind of the default one that you're used to. And if you just look for those, you probably should be okay. As long as it's not anything really crazy, but if you're just saying MX Mechanical Mini Keyboard, I'm going to assume that it's just like a pretty standard keyboard um, and most keycap switches should work on it. Um, but your best bet is to like find a Discord channel like Alex Otos or uh, Hippiotech. Like they all have really good channels where if you can post the exact links, people can help a little more specifically. Um, okay, so. Right now, I think this is the way, this is what I think is gonna go on, but the last one is this Bento R2 that I bought a while ago because I'm a moron and thought I was buying the first one. And the website I bought it from was totally clear what I was buying. I was just an idiot. These are kinda, kinda loud though. Although seeing these orange switches on this makes me kinda think this could work. But this blue is just a lot. Not gonna lie, that, that could work.
that could work. Anyone have any thoughts? Let's 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 take out the modern uh, the modern Dolch light and go one of these, either this Bento R two or the Honor Dark. I don't have the most room here. Any thoughts? Thoughts, thoughts. I have a bento not super into it. Oh wow, this, oh my God. Oh, background music. For some reason, my chat just like refreshed out of nowhere. Moto light cop. I feel like that's for Moto stuff's absolutely. Adore my sonnet. Uh, yeah, I. Th there's probably a really good chance I buy a sonnet sooner than I should. Um, Bento's too loud. Turn off the camera. Archer's normally better since it goes through revision. Uh, yeah, but I don't like the colors as much. Um, Moto light. I vote Bento. Moto but you okay, sounds better. That's that's the one. I don't know what you're referencing to. Bento. Bento is a good look. Bento, Bento. Okay. Cool. Let's try it. I'm gonna do Bento. I do really like the Dark Honor. But cool. I'm glad I'm glad you all like the Bento. I think that uh I think that's the the fun version. You'll see in a couple weeks. You need a sauna, Andrew. I probably will buy a, okay, I'll show you why I want a sonnet so bad, other than it just looks like an awesome keyboard. Moto light, yeah. I think Mo Moto light's the safe bet. We're gonna go loud for this stream. And then in a week, you'll probably see me change it. But this this set is the reason I want the Navy Sonnet. Cause I love this set, but I think it needs a really good board to pair with it. Oh, of course, it's fucking typical GMK fashion. Um, sorry, this looks like terrible, but this, the GMK uh, parcel this like sick blue and the white with red I think all of this looks so good I don't I haven't seen many people using it um, it's a mess in this case right now but I think this would look so good on the navy sonnet with like the uh, the walnut trim on top so I, that probably isn't far away for me Sonnet not loop. I don't think there's a navy loop. I really want the navy. Gotta love GMK packaging. Yeah. You can digest GMK packaging. Next stream, we can test, try that out. Yo, that looks sick on my new navy sonnet. Yeah, pots. That's exactly what, what um, accents did you get on it? I, when I was configuring it, I think if I could have configured the white accents on the top, but it was unavailable, I probably would have done it immediately, but... They didn't, and I think that let me hold off on it, and that's why I went the Envoy. Parcel looks nice. All right, cool. Let's do this. We're going to do Bento for now. I think there's a super high chance. Um, the, the Moto Light or the... Dark Honor winds up on this in a couple weeks, but let's do this for now. Would it be cool? I would love if you shared a link to a keyboard. I like I like these switches already.
Angel makes glass keyboards. They're super dope. I like all these different. Wow, that's got some flex to it. Yeah, glass keyboards, that sounds really cool. I mean, the the June being silicone was really neat. I, is, I swear I saw one recently that was like terracotta or something like that. Do you follow Valor Lore episode eight? I don't really follow the lore. I haven't even been playing that much lately. Um, I just don't have the free time. I love this piece, Andrew. You the man. Congrats. Thank you. Thank you. Plan to get Linus on trivia on wave, or just Linus on waveform? Yeah. The problem with like two really big channels that live on just completely opposite sides of the country are just timing at that. But no, he's awesome. Concrete boards, that sounds crazy, but really cool. Do you have an Instagram I can follow? I mean, I have my personal one, but um, oh, I'm far less active on my <laughs> my Instagram than I am on my uh, Twitter. But my Instagram's just Andrew underscore Manganelli, and then Elemento Key is the keyboard one. Um, okay, I want Mirror PC bottom accent and parcel would look fire. Yeah. Even the, you can even do the, there's just a straight up white bottom that I think would look really good too. Love for marbly switches. I always hear thock or clack. I guess I like need to figure out what the difference is. I definitely hear like plenty of like ones that say this is marbly, but it, I feel like everyone uses all of them so many times on so many things. Whether there's a distinctive difference between everything, I'm not like 100% convinced about. Um, but I, I think I know what you're talking about. And yeah, I, I like a lot of different sounds. I think I'm... I don't think I even know what I really prefer anymore. Also, are we in agreement with... We stick with the blue... Uh, arrow keys since we just have the orange right here. I kind of don't want the oranges to touch right there. I thought there was a uh... I thought there was a white bottom for this on it. Yes, blue arrows. Okay, good. Glad we're in agreement there. Yeah, there's a white bottom. Man, that, the camera and this orange is not a fan, I don't think. Okay, that looks better.
I have to see what the other... Oh, there's just extra... What are extra parts? Hmm. I almost feel like I should buy the copper accent if I'm going to use bento. Would have looked better with... I'm going to look this up. GMK... I don't even know how to pronounce that correctly. Oh, see, is that not what... I feel like this is what I'm thinking of. What is... Oh, okay. No, I agree 100% with you. Ka Ka Kaiju would look better on this, a thousand percent. I thought I was buying the Bento with the white alphas. But I'm a moron. But I still think this looks pretty good. I'm... I think I'm going to rock this for a while. It's definitely a bit lighter than my key Colt. I will probably switch this to the dark honor, but that with like the copper accent would have looked cooler. Actually, the multicolor accent would look pretty sweet on this because it's like blue and purple. That looks hot for sure. Thank you. Local meetups. Matt and I were talking about apparently there's a New York City keyboard meetup in April. I'm going to try to go to. I think we're both going to try and go to it. Yeah, the R. See, I thought I. I think what happened was I saw the bento r2 on sale somewhere and i just kept searching bento keycaps and then was just looking at the r1s for so long and like in my head all i was thinking about was the r1 and like and then i kept seeing it and then i just like went back added it to cart and then just saw it was cheaper and just wasn't paying attention there's one in december in new york city also let's uh Let's make sure we work here. I know I should have tested this before, but... Here's yeah, December 3rd or something. I was supposed to go. Could it make it out though? I think if I'm I'm correct, NYC key. I think there's one in. Oh yeah, December 3rd there is one, and the next one's April 6th. Matt and I are gonna try and go to the no April 6th one. Um, again, both of us have fairly young children, so I don't know for sure but it, it our plan is to attempt to go to that where's the i know uh sorry you, you said where it is when is the novel keys one west virginia is not the worst drive in the world it's not the best drive but it's not the worst okay let's make sure everything is working here All right, one bent pin. Texas in the summer. Texas is a bit too far for me right now, I think. It's happening April 20, 27th is the novel key ones. Oh, the Texas meeting. Okay. I think I'm sponsoring a giveaway for that meetup. Oh, I'm sorry for the, the noises. Oh, 
Oh no. Okay, possibly two more here. J L. More later. Cool. Max, if I was building Vision Pro, I don't think so. I don't think I would be able to see quite as well. Why do you not want to get That's why. Okay. We're all good here. So I'm sure plenty of you understood what all those sounds were. Um, blah, 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 blah. Da, 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 da. Yeah, sorry, I probably should have unplugged that. Okay, let's... Um, blah, blah. Cool, cool. I'm going to pause this music. We're going to go on a monkey type. I'm going to take my headphones off so I can listen. Actually, let's, uh, oh, I need a haircut so bad. Let's notepad first. There's like a little rattle. Oh, maybe I just... I'm not sure how well you can hear me right now. Um, Cause my microphone's facing down. Uh, but yeah, I, I actually don't know if it's rattle or if that switch just feels kind of pingy. Maybe I just didn't do a great job on that, but yeah, I do have The syringe, um, I probably, I kind of just want to replace these two switches real quick. I think it was minimal, but.
That caps lock still doesn't sound great. I think the... I think that sounds better, though. I think it was the... Uh, I think it was the switch. I don't know why I feel weird without my headphones on, even though nothing's playing with them. Okay. Let's bring this up. What time is it? It's one o'clock in the morning. Okay, we're gonna do some typing and then gonna wrap it up. Should probably plug this in first. Also this beautiful cable from Space Cables. They are awesome. Have you learned how to balance wires yet? I did, see, I watched Alex's guide on balancing. I probably should have looked and actually paid attention this time. Um, the fact... There's a lot of moving this. All right, I'm trying it lighter types. So I really think uh, I really think that one switch I had I just didn't do a good job moving because I think. Now I think this sounds way better. I don't know, sometimes it stabs even a long pull switch while I'll put the rattle. It might be worth, I don't know. I, I think I like this now, we'll see. I'll keep using it for a little bit, but let's, uh, let's type a little bit and, oh, this is like right in my way of seeing what I'm, Oh no, that actually made it smaller. Okay. Are you make streaming a regular thing? It'll all depend on when I get, wow. Was no one gonna tell me I put these back incorrectly? Okay. Okay. I dig this a lot. I want to type like slower, so it's hopefully it sounds a bit better. I don't think I'm gonna put any foam in this. It's definitely not too loud or like, I don't think, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna put any foam in this. Wow, how did I?
sounds nice for tactiles. I do think they sound really nice. I don't think they're like the the bumps not that hard. It's just enough for me to know that I'm pressing the button. I think I'm really gonna like this for my home board, which is gonna be mostly playing games um, and just like doing some work at home. Um, the resonance is what makes me put foam in usually. I, I don't feel like I have any on this. I mean, it's a little tougher with my headphones on and like paying attention to stream, so I'll definitely keep using this, but I don't think I'm gonna put foam in this. Has a good tune for sure. I think the Eastern market prefers foam and flex cut where the Western market doesn't. I mean, I, I totally understand where both of them come from. Like I, like this board also, I love. And I love this, but I'm really pumped. This is really nice. And I'm also really pumped that the Bento R2 looks so good on this. Sounds good. What's the name of the site you're using? It's called, again, it's called Monkey Type. Um, and I, I'm going to go into one other website in a minute as well. Perfect Sweet Spot. It sounds good. That was nice. Awesome. Yeah. I like this a lot. I mean... I knew I was going to like this. There is a lot of bounce to this. If you really push on the top, it kind of swings up a bit, but I don't think anyone's slamming the keys up here that hard. Um, is a Vision Pro compatible? Probably. Well, I guess technically if you connect it to a lap MacBook that you're streaming to, but... Um, Yeah, I think I might. See, the reason I did the lattice mount is because I watched Alex's. Oh my goodness, there's so many things on the screen. I watched Alex's stream. He said these were really. I think he said these were really stiff. But I might give them a try. I think this space bar sounds really good. Let's do the one I'm not. The, no, this is a Kiko 265. Also, I hope you guys can hear me okay with uh, it pointing down. Kiko 265, this is Duroc T1 switches in it. Um, Ortholinear, I'm... I'm trying to get, I think I might have one coming, uh, a 40% ortholinear, because I just know I won't really use 40% or ortholinear, so like, might as well put them together and see what it's like, uh, since I probably won't use it very often, but I think they look really cool. Have to train your pinkies a little more. Yeah, you're totally right. HMX switches, I should. I'll, I'll write that down. I do have a pair of... Um, I'm an idiot. What are, oh, the Wuche Studio Mirandi switches that I want to try. They're downstairs. Um, okay, I'm really bad at this, but if you're not aware of this website, it's typethealphabet.app. It's actually Matt, the guy who I'm running this channel with, made it, and he's adding a bunch of new cool things to it. Um, if you're a watch waveform this is the thing we do with all our guests kind of uh like top gear style and have a leaderboard with it but uh yeah we're trying to make some cool things on this website so oh whoops i'm typing in the chat abc i messed that up abc I'm so, has anyone else done this? How, what are your speeds on it? 
Get ortholinear split keywords. Jeez, as long as he doesn't use Nixies or KK keywords in every build, I'll stick around. Alex Otis builds. I promise to use a bunch of different switches because I think what I want to learn the most is just trying as many things as possible. But then I'm sure you start getting to things that are your favorite. So um, I will definitely look at HMX though. I think you're posting links, but YouTube chat doesn't. You know, before you said you were going to post a link, but I never saw it. So maybe that is happening. PC. I don't know why I can't do this. Jeez. Yes, sorry, Fares. I have not seen a single link. So yes, point for Thank you for catching that. Okay, I'm not getting better than four seconds. Um, yeah, you guys should all check out type the alphabet app. Um, let's. I'm just gonna do two more monkey types, and then I'm probably gonna log off. Have you been up since 6 a.m. today, Andrew? I have. It's now 1 a.m. Oh, my goodness. I need to go to bed. Okay. I'm going to do two more monkey by monkey types, then go to bed. Um, but this is awesome. This is 100% becoming my new keyboard at home. I'll probably take it into work also and, and use it there for a little while to go take some better photos. Um, might switch up the keycaps, but right now this looks pretty good. Um, yeah, DM me on Insta. That would be awesome. Do it. Uh, yeah, that'd be awesome. I'm going to do two more of these here, and then I'm going to sign off to Tom Scott was just fire on type the alphabet. That might have been one of the best podcast moments I know, ever. We're getting tired here. Um, also, I'm kind of working on a short, but I spent an hour in the Vision Pro just on monkey type, trying to type as fast as possible. Um, I'm, I, I might make a short. It might come out next week on the studio channel. Um, but that was an awesome night. I appreciate all of you watching. This is the mode Envoy. For anyone wondering if you missed it or uh this is the mode envoy it has the mode signal tactile switches we have tx stabilizers uh those are lubed i lubed all the switches this is the gmk bento r2 keycaps this is the space cables limo cable um and yeah it sounds great it looks great Thank you all again. That was like super helpful. Again, I think I feel like half the time I'm streaming just for so I can learn more things. But yeah, I will catch you all soon. Um, have a great weekend. Have a great night, all of you as well. And uh, yeah, later. Yeah, I'll go get a sonnet and we'll build that soon. Uh, but yeah.